Come on. Get them shackles off him. Poor son can't eat proper. Dunno. Not sure I like that. What if he runs for it? He's worth a heap of coin. Ah, bollocks. Been all in him a week, hasn't tried a thing. Why are you up and bolt now? Matter of fact, got to thinking. What did a sweet, gentle chap like him do to get the Queen of Zericania so riled? She's a shrew, that's one. Queen and witch in one. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. Look about her. What do you say to one more of your tiles? While we toss down some cards. Ah, why not? And since you mentioned one queen... Alright guys, and welcome to The Witcher Tales Road Breaker. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I found this on Steam, uh, not randomly, but uh, luckily I uh, was looking up stuff for upcoming Cyberpunk 2077, and I uh, just clicked on CD Projekt Red's Steam profile, and boom, there it is. There's another Witcher game. Pardon me. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I am a huge fan of the Witcher series. A huge fan. Um, and really, on the strength of the third game alone, I think it was one of the best games of this generation, one of the best open world games ever made, uh, no question. But we'll have time for me to gush over all that uh, as we play the game. So uh, this one's a card-based game, as you'll be able to see pretty quickly, but we're going to get into it, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the series. All right, let's get in there. Uh, ignore this continue, I just um, did a little test record, so... We'll get right to it. Battle hardened seems fair. Don't need that anymore. Biting Frost. Oh, the, the Gwent game was so good in The Witcher. It was such a pleasant surprise. That's like one of the best mini games ever. The year 1267. War hung in the air, it sent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope. <laughs> I like how they represented this guy, Caldwell. He's got like that nice, plump royal gut. But Merv, Queen of Lyria and Rivia. Rivia, eh? Where have we heard that one? Geralt! Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed. Paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Sheer sure. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. Uh, the situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As your grace ordained. I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall to surprise them as they slept. Alas, it 
proved a ruse. We found the tent empty. Straw stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? <laughs> uh, it's stolen, your grace. It's but stolen. I shall do all in mm. my power to recover it. This I vow, if it be your grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. <laughs> Dang, what a demotion. Like, okay, you messed this up. Well, I'll just take it from here. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. Welcome to the Throne Breaker tutorial. Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with the basic game mechanics. You can control your character using the right mouse click, follow the cobblestone road, and reach the next stage of your journey. What if it was set it up so I could use the uh, controller? That's fine. Yeah, you can see, you can kind of drop a little thing there. I don't know, what you call that? Diablo style? <laughs> And you can just hold it and have her go that way, too. You will expand your armor through the game, but to do so, you must collect the following types of resources. Gold, wood, and recruits. Gotta have that wood. While on the road, you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. I hope we run into Geralt and Ciri and Yen and them. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to thoroughly explore the map and complete side quests. Okay. Thought it were bandits riding in. There's some wood and some gold. Some wood and gold. Wood and gold. Wood and gold. All right, we got uh, eight soldiers, recruits. Okay, eight recruits from that flag. And uh, what's this? A bit more wood. There's some wood up there. We'll go see that in a second. Pilka, they stretched her over a fire till she told him where she buried her gold. Hmm. Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight. Sketch it out for you. Okay. Looks like a house right in front of a house. A bunch of trees around it. Congratulations, you found a treasure map. Search the area, and you may just find a secret location on the. Search the area, and you may just find a secret location on the map with an X. Okay. Map found. All right. If you don't know, the Witcher universe is usually pretty dark. Uh, it's a fantasy universe set, and uh, it's a. Oh, I would say. It's it's like. Uh, Medieval. That's the best way to survive it. Everything's medieval. People are harsh. It's tough times here. It's uh, the Dark Ages type Middle Age, you can say that, with magic and that kind of stuff. The strays, they're called, Your Majesty. The strays? They bite something nasty and bay as if by the moon possessed. I think she says <sighs> thought it were bandits riding oh, in. Okay. Repeat. Now, I don't actually know how to bring up the map. Is there like an item or inventory screen? I don't know. But it looks like there's a couple houses surrounded and, uh,. A little bit more wood. Hmm. Oh. Well. Milka, they stretched her over a fire. Grim. Nothing to say to this guy. Oh, hold on, hold on. Get that get that wood and that extra gold hidden in there. And I have been through this part uh already. Oh, is this it? Aha! Keep going. Yeah! 
Yeah! Look at that, we can follow basic directions. Okay, okay. It's a lot smaller than I would have thought, but alright. Cool. Didn't get that on the old test record. An obstacle blocks your path. To remove it, you will need to spend some of your resources. Your Majesty, it seems someone has felled an old oak, which now blocks the road. Unfortunately, our wagons cannot go around it. How do you wish to proceed? Have, all, have loggers sort at the monitor. Our soldiers are concerned for strength. Just issue axes and soldiers put to work. Get more wood for that. And we got some extra. We'll be alright. Have the loggers do it. You know, don't make this. Don't have to make the soldiers do everything. <laughs> Keep going. Jesus Christ. Most interactive objects are marked clearly on your map, but not all. Some events can be predicted. Oh, some of this cannot be predicted, so you best be prepared for anything. Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Charge! Yeah! Meave was convinced the bandits would flee to recover the forest upon realizing their grave mistake. After all, no ordinary bandit would dare attack a retinue of the queen. Yet, the strays of Spala were a different breed. They held nothing sacred. Story battle. Okay, custom deck. All right, I didn't notice all that before. Okay. Well, uh, as I said before, I just did a test record, so uh, yeah. Start that battle. This is a battlefield. You will play your cards on the bottom half, and your opponent will play at the top. Units can be played in one or two rows, melee or range. But remember, the abilities of some cards may be different depending on the row you play them. A standard battle can last up to three rounds. The first to win two rounds wins the whole match. Play the alternate players, alternate their units during your turn. You can play only one card, but you can use any number of abilities. The player who goes first in a match is the same who initiated the battle. In this case, you encountered an ambush, so your, your opponent will have the first turn. Okay. Bigger they are, easier they are to touch. To attack the queen, an outrage! Caldwell ain't having it. Strength of each unit adds the army's total strength. The player whose army has the most strength at the end of the round. Blah blah blah. We got it. Some units have armor. Armor absorbs a certain amount of damage dealt to the unit. Awesome. Your grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Most cards have an ability of some kind. To learn more about it, select the card and read a short description. Of it. Card. Play any card. So we click on this guy and see he's got like uh, swords of plowshares type deal. Loyal, who's self by five? Just trigger this ability automatically when your ability is used. Dope. Now which an enemy, the number of cards in the room, including self, reaches two. Okay, and three armor, which is nice. Count Claudewell. <laughs> this guy with his dog. <laughs> Play a copy of each adjacent <laughs> unit from your deck. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Was that? <laughs> uh, I think I saw. Is this peeing on him? I like I like the animated card stuff. It's pretty awesome. Look, it's peeing right on him. <laughs> He's fine with it. Sheesh. Uh, we will play Lyrian Sight. Doesn't seem to matter which range. Aye. Salt of the earth, they are, your grace. They'll follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Salt of the earth. Scythemen have the loyal ability. This means that the other abilities will be activated in time to use me. Each leader has its own unique ability to learn what it is to select the leader. Each ability allows you to boost unit strength and add armor to it. Okay, she can use it once every few turns. Me, longsword. Boost an ally by four and give it one armor. Yeah, yeah. And so he's got that, so you should go up by nine. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs. You dogs. Yeah. Plus five and an armor. 
cannot make any more in the turn, okay? We'll catch them all! Stop by one, okay. Now you can look at theirs too, nice. No ability for you, Stray Slinger. You're, you're in trouble. Look at this armored gold. He's just got like a little. What, what are you gonna do here, brother? Oh, okay. A little fancy beside. All right. A lesson in humility coming now. Allows him to summon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, get on. <laughs> the strays took tail and run. <laughs> 33. Okay. Look out! Seek cover! We are bombarded! Okay. So he can move one unit to the row opposite this unit. Move one unit to the row opposite this unit and damage it by one. One unit to the row opposite this unit. Okay. So this guy gets more the more cards you are, so you should play him here. I'm a wrong set. Everything's got two armor, so won't be able yes. to penetrate. Our victory is assured! Sound the horns! May they sing praises of this triumph for ages! <laughs> Pass. Okay. Battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Okay. Three cards. So I'm not really an expert at these card games. Battle I'm... formation! Protect the queen! Protect the queen! I do like the story though. So I'm definitely not the best player at these card games, but we'll do our best. So I think that's our cooldown timer there in the corner. Alright. Once again, we'll play uh, Swords of Plowshares. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Oh man, and I guess it would be best if we waited until we got both of them out. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. <laughs> yes. The chase is on! Uh... Yeah! And I can play a card on top of that. And, uh... Shoot you down! Nice. So, that's three then. Including self, so at least it will always do one, so three. Okay, nice. Ever up a storm, knock out one of your teeth. Never. <laughs> I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandit stood not a chance. Well, of course not. But do not think. Yeah. <laughs> Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining breastplate. They've grown bold. Doubtless after the raid on the manor, the tax collectors... I've not heard of an ambush on the high road afore. Caldwell explained, avoiding his liege's wrathful gaze. Mm. Enough, Caldwell. Wrathful. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mess with the... I don't know. Bullhorns, maybe. Anyway. Wood and gold! Wood and gold, wood and gold. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, Ooh. the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. <laughs> After Come three on, weeks well. in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. 
A spell of it they deserve. Yeah, I, didn't, I noticed this earlier. Uh, you must to survey your army. You must first pitch camp. Pitch camp by pressing the tent button on the left side of the screen. Okay, I didn't see these buttons here. Okay. Camp buildings allow you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Okay. Most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. And in the workshop. Okay. Here you, you can build and improve camp buildings. Okay. To improve your camp buildings, you must first collect an appropriate quantity of gold and wood. For your journey, you definitely need access to a regional map. But to get it, you'll first need to improve your royal tent. Okay. Upgrade the royal tent to level 2. Uh, forced upgrades. 1,000 gold and 50 wood? Sure. Look at that difference. Looks much better. What? Uh, what? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Next is improvement. You now have access to the regional map, which you can open from the main game screen. Okay. The workshop itself can also be improved, which each subsequent improvement you'll gain access to new stronger units. Hmm, so that's the workshop, which is looking in a pretty sad state. Command tent, that's the royal tent, and what's that, like the barracks? The command tent, you can create units and build your army from available cards. Okay, proving this building will increase your army's recruit cap, allowing you to use stronger units. Okay, cards currently in your deck are displayed on the left hand side. All cards available for you to create and place in your deck are displayed on the main screen. Oh, okay. You gain access to new cards by upgrading your training grounds and workshop as well as through certain story related tasks. Okay. Grayed out cards are available but have not yet been created. You must first create them before you can include them in your deck. Your deck must contain a minimum of 25 cards while not exceeding your army's recruit cap. Currently, your recruit cap is 125 points. Okay. So each card's worth different point value, I assume. Your deck must contain a minimum of 25 cards. To create new cards, you need a particular resource. Recruits. You gain recruits at conscription, conscription post, which are marked on the map with a helmet icon, as well as through certain story-related tasks. You receive additional resources to recruit a wagon bird card. Right-click it now to on the wagon bird to preview recruit it. Okay. Which one's Wagenberg? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Ooh. Rivian Pikeman. Which one's. Which. What? This one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wagenberg. Damage all units. Damage all enemies on an. En damage all units on an enemy's front row. Buy this unit's armor amount, then lose all armor. Gain one armor whenever a card appears in this row. Hmm, okay. So that one would be best played first, and then you play other cards to increase its armor, and then... Okay. Oh, but it only works once, alright. Oh, okay, and that's the amount of gold, recruit, and wood. Oh, alright, alright. Need three resources. Uh, illustration by who? I didn't mean to do that, but uh, okay. You can now view, create new cards. I can't because this is maxed out. Or you return to the main game screen and continue your story. I can't recruit anybody new. <coughs> Mr. Caldwell? What about Reynard? What am I doing him? Field medic, yeah. How do I know what I've got? Oh, that takes a card out. Okay, okay. Raynard. It's nine points. Give one charge to units with depleted order. Deploy. What's the six for? Oh, how much it costs. Sorry, I'm like, uh looking over all the details of these things. I should probably should just off screen and then 
get back to you guys on it. Which, I'll do that. So I'll take a look at all these cards and see what each one of them does. And then I will come right back and uh, we'll see you in the next episode of The Witcher Tales, Throne Breaker. So, hope you guys are enjoying it and we'll see you next time. See you guys.